hello friends welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video today i'm going to be cooking some beef vegetable sauce if you want to know how i achieved this deliciousness then keep watching Here is my freshly cleaned meat. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the meat up right now. And you wanna make sure you cut across the grain. By saying the grain, I mean something that looks like a straight line up from the top to the bottom. You wanna cross across that line. Because if you don't cross across those lines, your meat is gonna to be tough and you will not be able to chew them properly. So make sure to cut across the grain and make sure to cut as thin as possible. If you are new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by feel free to look around and subscribe if you love what you see and join this family i would love to have you around to my returning subscribers you are welcome back Now this is what it's looking like after cutting slicing them up I, I mean sure to make them very very thin so right now i'm going to be soaking this meat up with some baking soda um the baking soda is going to help the tenderizing of the meat and also to help to drain some of the blood that are still left in the meat so i'm going to soak this up for about five to ten minutes Now this is 10 minutes later and my meat is drained so I'm gonna go ahead and marinate the meat I have my cornstarch garlic powder ginger powder I couldn't find ginger fresh ginger I didn't have any so I used ginger powder and garlic powder as well as cornstarch then here is my sesame oil now I have my oyster sauce as well as my soy sauce then uh, I have some honey you may choose to put honey or not. you may choose not to put it but I like honey so uh, I'm just putting a little bit of honey into this meat and I'm gonna give it a thorough mix and put in the refrigerator to marinate for about 30 minutes you can do one hour if you have the time but I'm just gonna do it for 30 minutes so I can get done with dinner while the meat is marinating I'm gonna be prepping my vegetables I have the orange green red and yellow bell peppers so i'm going to cut this up and here you go i have all my vegetables all chopped up i have my broccoli i have my red onions i have spring onions as well as my carrots now i'm going to get the rice started this rice has already been parboiled, so I just put some salt, red onions, and some butter. You need to try this recipe for the rice. It's going to make the rice very, very good and tasty. I'm going to start by steaming up my broccoli first. So I put a little tiny bit of oil in my pan, and then I just pour the broccoli in it. You can use cauliflower as well if you have some but i didn't have any so i put some all-purpose seasoning and a little bit of water and just a little tiny bit of water to steam up my broccoli now you can tell the broccoli is cooked because the color has already changed so i'm just going to take it out of the pan and go to the next step For some reason I couldn't find the clip of where when I started cooking the meats but I just put a tiny bit of oil in my pan then I poured the meat in and I just started stirring and cooking it until it was tender. I did not add any salt to it because the garlic powder has salt in it and as well as the soy sauce so I did not add any salt to this meat. So 
So right now I'm going to be mixing up my thickener to pour in the sauce. So here is my oyster sauce. Now here goes the soy sauce. And I'm going to have some cornstarch and mix everything up with water. Now in my pan, I'm going to add some oil, just a little bit of oil. Uh, I thought I put a little bit too much, so I took some, I took part of it out because I didn't want it to be too greasy. I forgot to show you guys some habaneros. This is optional. You may choose not to add habaneros, but I like a little bit of spice in my food. And my kids are okay with it. They eat spicy foods too. So yeah, I just put, I just added half of habaneros. So, and I did not use all the bell peppers. I used, I used half of each color of the bell peppers. So I'm going to start by cooking my carrots first because it's the strongest of the vegetables. So to my carrots, I'm adding some garlic powder and some salt. Now it's time to have the rest of the vegetables, all the bell peppers. So I'm just going to stir everything up. If you notice that I did not put any salt at all because the meat is already been well seasoned. And I put, I think I added a little bit of salt to the carrots because there's salt in my garlic powder. My garlic powder is a garlic salt powder. So I did not have any more salt to this. So be mindful of the salt because the soy sauce has salt in it and the sauce the salt in the beef as well so be very careful with the ratio of salt that you put in this mixture now i'm adding the broccoli and just mixing everything up and the broccoli has already been cooked a little bit so don't overcook it now i noticed that my frying pan is getting too small for these things and i still need to put the beef in it so I switched it out for a bigger one. So now after cooking this mixture for just a little while, about three to five minutes, so just to preserve the crunchiness, I added the beef and my thickener into it as well. So I'm just giving it a good stir and let it simmer just for a little bit for everything to, to incorporate into each other. Now lastly, I'm going to be adding my spring onions so and let it cook for about three minutes and um, just mix everything all up and it's looking really, really delicious already. Now at this point, I'm going to turn the stove off and just let it simmer. And it's all done. Dinner is done. 
so just look at this deliciousness just take a look at this this looks so good and it tastes as good as it looks so definitely give it a try and this is very simple and quick to make for a quick dinner and uh, it's packed with a lot of nutritious food items and yeah you can make this for the for your family and I'm gonna be enjoying this beef um, beef vegetable sauce with some white rice this combination this is looking so good and so delicious and you just need to give it a try to see what I am talking about yes so definitely give it a try and you will love it If you have watched me up until now thank you so much for sticking around and if you have not subscribed yet what are you waiting for go ahead and click that red button down there and subscribe to the channel I would love to have you around and make sure your bell is on so you don't miss out any of my future uploads thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye bye